Previously, we completed the subfloor on the main area of the second level, installed three of the four structural posts that will hold up the beams which support the roof, and we installed the remaining floor joists leading into the existing A-frame loft. We're gonna have a real bedroom with like walls. At this point, we are ready to place the beams on top of the posts. That's a 35 foot beam we gotta build. Yeah, don't you? The big boy. Oh, it's a big one. Build the very first wall on the second level and attempt to raise it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, can't do it. Nah. Can't do it. And most importantly, turn our attention back to building the safe room. You better get a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to start working on getting the next post installed that's necessary in order to move on to the two big beams that are going to hold up the roof on this side of the house. So the first thing we're going to do is get laid out, figure out exactly where that post needs to go. Josh is going to cut the floor out and then we can start building the post. So this post sits directly on top of the header beneath me and beneath that header is another post in a straight line vertically it goes straight down to the concrete to the footer which is going to hold it in place. This is actually the doorway to Ellie's room and this post, the size of this post is three two by fours glued, screwed and uh, nailed together. You ready? Yeah, let's go. We're gonna go up higher. We'll pull it back a little bit. Pull it back, up. Come on, ahead. Up, there you go. Drop it down, girl. Perfect. You know? There you go. Now she's in. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. It goes directly on top of this post right here. We'll put a plate here and lag it together on both sides. But it's dead nuts. Perfect, perfect measurement. And that's the way to start the day. Yes. Should be close. So they're actually dead nuts. <laughs> There's two plates we can put down there, uh, plumbed up pretty good. <laughs> but once we get up to the kicker um, and get the plates down there holding everything together perfect, we'll go through, cut these things down, put the beam on top, get the side pieces going up, and then we'll do that big old. That's a 35 foot beam we gotta build. You know, don't you? It's a big boy. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, it's gonna be heavy. LVL. Yeah. Doubled up. Perfect. It was perfect? Okay. Yeah. Spot on. It's spot on. Don't forget who's in charge here, Josh. <laughs> Definitely not you. <laughs> now we're completely plumb upstairs or back downstairs. That plate is worth its weight in gold, tight truth. I think I ain't gonna budge. So the next step to go upstairs and cut the post down to the proper height, build the first small beam, and next we're gonna build a huge beam that goes across the small beam. Three inches. All right, let's build some beams. Ready? 54 and a half. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna cut the beam 54 and a half. We're gonna double it up. We're gonna get some two by fours come up the side so lock everything in place. We'll nail it together and we'll get ready to start the second beam cross. The first beam's built. I do have an overhang going across. That's where the wall is going to tie in because the wall continues this way and the opposite way. And with it like that, we're going to build a new wall and kind of finger them all in place and lock them in place. So now that that's done, we got to go to the other two posts, cut them down to the exact height of that top plate right there, and then we can get the beam on top of that. This time around, I'm only putting up one two by six on one side of this post. The beam's gonna set directly on top of here. And if being as heavy as they are and how long they are, it's easier for us to take it, push it up, sit on top of this player here and push it against this two by versus having them up on both sides and picking up trying to squeeze everything in. Why are they so heavy? When we're putting these up, I need to be on this side because it's gonna be a little squirrely, a little dangerous. That's, not, that's, my, that's my forte. <laughs> so I'll do this side. We'll throw it up. It's gonna be heavy, but we got in the bag. Okay. You do the sketchy, sketchy stuff, and I'll do the slightly sketchy stuff. Deal? Yeah, deal. <laughs> if you fall, you go, you go barreling down a load of stairs, but 
if I go outside, you know. It's not gonna be the stairs. I'm gonna hit that little dormer and it'll be a nice little slide for me. And I think I could probably land on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> you found your butt's a lot cushion there too, so you're good. You ready? Yeah. All right, it needs to go my way. You okay? Push it on over. Okay. Keep going? Yeah. Put it on center. You want to be on your right side. It's right here, on this side. All right, cool, we're good. how light this one is, huh? No, it's way lighter. <laughs> Alright, so move your ladder. You want to scooch it over and we're going to put it right next to it, or butt it up. Thank you. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> you know, babe, I think I love you more in these late nights. You know, because most guys at, at work would not have uh, stayed with me to this hour to make it happen. These are the things that we do that we end up remembering. Every yeah. time we walk up the stairwell. Yeah. All the long nights it took building it. Uh-huh. The sponsor of today's video is Helix. I absolutely attribute my improved sleep over the past several years to my Helix mattress. It's one of those things where you just don't know what you're missing until you get your first quality mattress and experience sleeping on that and then you can just never go back. Helix has premium mattresses customized to fit your needs that come all rolled up in a box and are conveniently shipped to your door for free within the US. This year Helix launched their newest and most high-end collection yet, the Helix Elite Mattress. This collection includes six different mattress models that combined high-end luxury with comfort that is tailored to you. And that's really the difference here, guys. Helix mattresses are not just quality, but they're mattresses that are tailored to your preferences. Everybody is different, and Helix knows that, which is why they made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to create the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste, and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for 
both of you. We were matched with their Midnight Lux mattress, which is a medium feel mattress and perfect for side and stomach sleepers like Josh and I. It provides our backs with the support that we need and keeps us from tossing and turning all night long so that we just simply get cozy at night and wake up well rested the next day. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial to ensure that you love it. Plus there's a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. Be sure to keep an eye on the Helix website this month. They have holiday sales that are going to be popping up throughout the month of November. So if there was ever a time to upgrade your mattress, that time is now. We love our Helix mattress and think that you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click our link below or you can go to helixsleep.com slash wildwonderful to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Now let's get back to the build. Today we're gonna get started on building the first wall on the second floor. Looking here at figure A, there's no dormer on the back portion of this house. We have to change quite a few things on this. We gotta bring the front out and back and delete a few things just to make everything work. We'll get into that into a later video, not today, but what we're gonna start working on today is adding a dormer right here in this location here. This is actually where the bathroom is sitting at. We're gonna take this thing and turn upright and make a dormer that gives a lot more space. Ultimately, this back portion is gonna look fairly close to this front portion right here, except for the windows. You guys know all the windows we have down low don't match this rendering right here. The windows up top, we're gonna to have triangle windows, bigger windows down here. We're gonna change it up a little bit to give it a lot more sunlight. It's gonna brighten the bathroom up a lot more right here. What it's gonna do is gonna push this wall back to this location with the dormer. As it sits right now, there's a, a short wall that comes up right through here and the roof comes down and sits on this back portion right there. But us adding a dormer gives us an upright wall and hence gives us a lot more space for the bathroom. So are we in agreement? We're gonna do the dormer 12 wide. We'll push up the eight foot wall and on top of the eight foot wall, we're gonna have, I guess, triangle style windows over top of the gable it comes down, just triangle windows and a window wall. Is that what we're going for? I agree. Me too. So this side is only going to be a transom window okay. up high because this is going to be the shower. Yes. This over here can be like two individual windows or one window that's actually two windows. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. Um, with the transom window, I, I wonder if it's going to be silly like and if we have a window, window, flat wall on the transom. Do you think? I mean, do you want to have huge windows, like full body length windows in the shower? I'm going to get a lot of phone calls from production companies when they see me in that shower. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is lay out the wall and lay out where both of the windows are going to be at. One window is going to be a transom window that is up high in the shower and the other window for now is just going to be one large opening until we decide exactly how we want that window to be. But what really matters with that window location is how high up off the ground it is. We want to be sure that we have enough space to put a cabinet under it while also accounting for the trim that's going to go around the window. And these six at 54 and a half, six at 40 and a half, a nine at 96 inches, and then need two at 110 and three quarter. We on top of the world, about to jump it, it. Take it straight to the moon, you know how to rock it. Ain't no thing you can do, ain't no way to stop it. Now you feeling it too, let's get it started. So this wall is going to be a little bit of a doozy. I have sawdust all over the camera now. <laughs> That's why these cameras don't last long. You realize that, right? It is very long and tall and a lot of wood. Every time we build a wall and it's like obnoxiously sized and all of our windows are obnoxiously sized. How we do, girl? You nervous? Oh yeah. my God. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Ready? Uh, yeah, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Can't do it. Nah. Can't do it.
Alright, so how it's gonna work guys is that Carter, you're gonna be in the center. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be to the left. Aaron, you're gonna be to the right. And you're on this side, that's so probably your side. And uh, we're gonna pick it up. Be you can be probably right here, Carter. Okay. Hey, right there, we'll pick it up and then we'll start pushing it up. I'll push at the post going up my right other side and both you guys in the center. I'll push it up. Once we get it up to here, we'll start pushing the post. Yeah. And gotcha. we're gonna walk our hands to get it up. Yeah. It's not gonna go up in one swift swoop. It's All gonna right. it's gonna go up part of the way. One, two, three, it goes up. Yeah. Then we're gonna have to get under it. One, two, three, push it up again, and it's gonna be a couple stages to get it up. Uh, but okay. if you pay attention, if it starts to go, if those boards snap and it's gonna go off the wall, let it go. Okay, because it's right. extremely heavy. No, you don't want anyone getting yeah, crushed under it. Big. Yeah, it's extremely heavy. Those are all two by twelves in that. All right, guys, everybody ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, left. Okay. Three, two, one, left. All right, push forward. Push forward. 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 Get it up. Get it up. We're good. We're there. So this one's gonna go that way about that much. So I put a block down on the ground, screw to the subfloor, got a board going from the block up to the side of this wall. Aaron's gonna take the screw gun, lag it bracing in, crossed it, put some kickers on it, and we're good to go. Once everything is installed, like sheathing, it's gonna knock it, it won't fall out of whack when we take the bracing off. We'll sheathe it, put the roof on it, everything comes down, and we're golden. We got ourselves a wall. Yes, we do. You like the place too. So we have our first wall built for our bedroom. Or I guess our very first, not first bedroom, but it's our first bedroom in a real bedroom in six years. It's not a, what's our bedroom now? I don't really know. It's, like, it's a multiple <laughs> things. It's an office with two computers. It's a wash, uh, laundry room, what's it? Laundry room. Laundry room, mechanical room, bedroom, and, and a bypass for everybody to walk through in and out. It has a back door to outside. Exactly. So. We're gonna have a real bedroom with like walls and a door and like our own space. It's pretty exciting. Our own privacy, which is nice. Yes. So we are going to go ahead and spend the rest of the evening doing our prep work for yes. the dreaded safe room. Because over the course of the next week, we are fully committed to 100% land all block building that safe. So room. we put that we put that block room off for months now now it's time to pay the piper you gotta do it all in a couple days so <laughs> but first we're gonna run outside and look at this wall because i haven't seen it yet so, yeah. it's pretty massive from here all right don't turn around I, yet i'm not wait. don't cheat wait don't Ready? cheat that's beautiful <laughs> 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 I agree. <laughs> to state for sore eyes. Yeah. This is the beginning of the end. Yeah. First, we got to build that safe block room. Yeah, pretty much. You better get a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I got my gloves tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Clean block all day, girl. Good times. <laughs> You know? <laughs>